Hi guys, Rachel Bob here and today I'm reviewing the Disney Animated app. This is one that I've been wanting to review for a while. I'm quite excited about it. So let me show you how it works and what it's all about. So this is, that was the intro, the magical intro that we're all familiar with and this is the app, I'm going to show you everything within it because this is a paid app and it is an expensive paid app so if you are going to get this, I recommend that you watch videos about it first to know what you're getting. This is £7.99 here in the UK uh, which is pretty expensive and I just want to show you from an animator's perspective like whether it's worth it and from a viewer's perspective but also like what level it is if you are an animator like me and you want to see if it's worth actually seeing or if it's really basic and that kind of thing so let's go in it's got magical music as you can hear it's not too intrusive it's quite nice and it starts with the timeline, so we're going to click Bouncing Ball and this will show you the very basic Bouncing Ball and how you would animate this. So you can see here it says what's this, it's an interactive tool that will give you a hands on experience with the two fundamental principles of animation, squash and stretch and slow in and slow out. So it's going to show you some of the principles which if you are an animator you will know this, this will be one of the first things you learn so it's kind of nice for those of you who haven't experienced animation before to see how this works. You can change the frame rate down here, you can see how it affects the ball, you can see the frames laid out so you can see what is playing there. Normally as an animator the first thing you would say on this is why is the no squash and stretch down at the bottom. They haven't put it in, they're a bit more basic than that and you can also change it to a plain ball so you can see what is required. Again there's no slow in and slow out on this bit but if we click the information it will tell you everything about it and what you would need to add that in. It goes very deep and here you can see they have added in the squash and stretch. Um, and they've told you how to change it and everything like that so and then you can close that here so it does allow you to go in to adjust the ball so we would want it to have a kind of curve so it was a little bit more realistic something like that and then we want to squash it down the bottom Okay, I'm getting into animator mode. You can see how it's getting so much more dynamic right now. So much more dynamic now. Oh yeah, that's right. Anyway, we can click the D to go back to the home page and we can click mood shifter here. This is actually really fun. Even even when you're a little bit more experienced. So, and for those of you who don't know, an animation is what I do as my main job and I do have a degree in it, so maybe I am a little bit biased when it comes to animation things, but it can be a good thing and a bad thing with things like this. Sometimes these things can be way too basic and sometimes they can be fun no matter what level you're at. So, what is this? Slide your finger within the control area on the right to change Maximus's facial expression from the neutral pose in the middle. Turn his head to view him for every angle, everything else like that. You can click find out more, you can dive right in. So, you can see we can change his mood. This is so fun. You can absolutely see where all the money's going. This could be really fun, I think, for all levels. I'm not sure. Not sure, ooh, like that one. Not sure if this is just random or if you can, it's just exciting to see his face. You can change your angle here, so you're getting a bit more into the 3D thing. And it is what it says it is. 
it is a mood shifter. So I definitely like that grumpy one, that like, huh? And you can then share that to Twitter. So, oh, I'm not going to do that. Oh no, this is Ryan's um, laptop, so I probably won't <laughs> tweet out a picture of Maximus's mood. <laughs> Sorry, right? No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> right, then we can go into workshop here. And this says, what's this? Create and share your own animation sequences with its interactive model of Vanellope from Wreck-It Ralph. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong because I haven't actually seen Wreck-It Ralph. I've got it on my Netflix list, so I'll be watching it soon. Move her joints by tapping on a dot and use the trackball to rotate the joint. Okay, so this is getting pretty deep into the 3D section. This is very good. So you can tap on a dot and move it very similar to what you would do in Maya. So we can make her have really weird eyes. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this is fun. And you've actually got a timeline here as well. So you can full on animate with this. So you've got your own pose to pose model. I mean, this is so cool. Obviously, that, that start frame that I've just created is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, and then you can share it as well. You can save it. You can start with set poses. You can save your own poses. Oh my goodness. This is like full on software. Obviously, you're limited to this puppet, but it is updated a lot, this app. It's me recently been updated with the Big Hero stuff, so, you know, you bound to get new Disney content later on, which is really good, because that's what you want for your money. And you can click here to start a new movie. You can refresh, you know, you can p play, put it on a loop if you want. That's the loop button, sorry. Um, turn that loop off so it will stop. This is your saved animations. You can see this one here, this is the one that we've just edited a little bit. And that's the workshop, so we'll go back to the main menu again. Then we've got a timeline here. Which is this. This will tell us everything we need to know about Disney, what was created when. And then if we want to, we can click on... We can click on a certain... Just turn that on silent. We can click on a certain picture and it will tell us all about that picture, how long it was, the songs, it will link us to iTunes, it gives you some pe special animated images, oh my goodness, oh that's so beautiful, you could literally, as an animator, like break this down, draw it yourself, it's so beautiful, oh this app, I love it. And we can go back to the home page. I really thought I was going to feel ripped off, but I absolutely don't. We're going to click this Elsa's Snow here. For those of you who like Frozen, I mean, who doesn't? Use your finger to create authentic Frozen Snow. Generated by visual effects algorithm based on the same techniques as the movie. Snow will follow a fraction of a second after you loop your finger across the iPad screen. By the way, this is only available on iPad, not on iPhone, hence the iPad being in this video. Elsa's Snow. So, down here we've got some options, but let me just show you. Wow. That's so fun. So this is what the animator would do to create this snow. I'm sorry, there's so many fingerprints on the screen. They would map a track and the, then the snow effects will follow it as a visual effects motion. So you can change it to vector field if you like, so you can see the sort of directions that you would get and what's playing out within it. You can have swirls, so you can have swirls playing off that um, as it goes along, if that's how you want it to say. Or path capture, as we had before. You can also set the background, so you can see it against that, and you can make it as crazy or as simple as you like. You can also change the frame rate again, so you can have it go a little bit slower. And you can change the turbulence, the emitter duration, the particle lifetime, everything that they would use within their system. They're just giving you a taster of that. And again, you can share it. So amazing. Now, then we've got colour maps. 
This is the uh, colour maps here. Swipe through all 53 animated feature films from Snow White to Frozen and see if you can guess the movie from its colour palette. To expand a colour map for an individual movie, tap its colour map. Oh my goodness, this is fun. So, oh, Pocahontas. Atlantis. Peter Pan. Gives you a little bit of music from the movie as well. So I don't know if I could really guess. Um, it's very difficult. So I guess like this is Frozen because it's at the bottom. So because they're all like in order, kind of makes it a little bit easier because we know that that one's Frozen. We know that this one is Snow White. Um, but guessing the ones in the middle, this one's kind of bright. I'd probably say that one was uh, Sleeping Beauty, but it's probably a bit too current. Oh no, it's Aladdin. <laughs> so uh, maybe... This one might be, ugh, I suppose The Little Mermaid's got to have a lot of blue in it. Let's go for this one. Nope. <laughs> oh dear, we'll go back to the main menu because I fail at this. But that's kind of a nice thing. I don't know what would make them decide to do that, but it's nice. Then you've got your 12 principles. I love that they put this in because it is the one thing that is so important if you want to learn to be an animator. And I just live by this. It's so... Uh, so important. Um, this chapter includes full text from chapter 3 of The Illusion of Life which is a book I have, very expensive book but very good and it's all in there. Again, if you're an animator you've probably already got the book but if you don't have the book and maybe you're a student or something and you just wanted to read this part of the text very very useful because I think that book was about £60 when I bought it um, maybe even more. I'm not sure how much it is now, but anyway, it was a long time ago. <laughs> then we've got this, these sections up here. We've got Art in Motion. And this will take you to a new section. We've got Steamboat Willie up there. Lovely. And it gives you a lovely little story book. I love the animation of the text coming on the screen. It's really nice. And again, it's kind of like you're walking through a little museum at Walt Disney Studios. Or one of the parks. It kind of gives me that kind of feel. And if we go back to the home screen, you can see a story section here. Again, this tells you more, all about how they create their stories or adapt their stories at Disney. I've got visual, visual development here. Another kind of text section. These parts are kind of more for reading than these parts which are a bit more fun. Character again tells you how they create their characters and how they bring them to life. These are all pretty much the same, the layout, the animation, the visual effects, all the, all the stages of putting an animation together. Then they've got a nice little gallery section with some kind of uh, images and things of how they do stuff, all that kind of thing, how they put images together. They've got a section for Frozen because they know that that's hugely popular so why wouldn't you have a Frozen section with some exclusive screens in here. Back to the home page and then they've got the credits section as well. Which tells you about everyone that's been involved in making this absolutely ooh, amazing app that is worth every penny of the $7.99 that you would have to pay for it. It's not for anyone who isn't interested in getting deeper or learning more or isn't a Disney fan. You need to be all those things. I, even though this is probably not going to benefit me, although actually it is, because it just ignites, reignites that passion of actually keeping your animation's dynamic. If you want to learn about it, you're going to learn. If you want to progress, you're going to progress. If you want to just play around 
and be inspired it's going to do it for you I absolutely love the app I'm going to give it 5 big fat moves even though it is expensive I love it and I can see where my money's going it's beautiful and I trust that they'll keep it updated as they have done previously let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have any questions if there's anything you'd like me to look at in the app now I have it before you purchase it yourself if that's what you're planning on doing let me know in the comments just ask and I'll try my best to answer those for you I hope I've helped you in some way and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye